I'm Command Sergeant Major Rosalba Dumont Carrion. I'm United States Army Garrison Japan Command Sergeant Major. My father is retired First Sergeant Angel Eduardo Dumont Cote. He was an Army infantryman and he served um, 22 years in the Army. And while in the Army, he actually was in Vietnam from 1967 to 1968. He was an infantryman, um, what they call a ground pounder. Um, he walked when he got to Vietnam, he was a Spec 4, and then later was promoted to Sergeant. When he was with the 2nd and 47th Infantry, 9th Infantry Division, um, his company was asked to go out to uh, regain uh, the Charlie Company, who was surrounded by the enemy. Um, when they um, headed out there, um, he was told by his company commander that he was going to be the point man. They went out. Um, he was able to find the enemy um, and regain Alpha Company and um, that's when he was able to bring them back. However, then they found out there was also uh, more enemy fire so he had to go out to different bunkers. Um, the first bunker he was able to engage, um, clear it out. second bunker they realized that was already cleared out um, so they were getting ready to move forward and then that's when my dad actually saw um, one of the enemy soldiers and uh, getting ready to do something. So he dropped to the ground and noticed that there was a grenade being thrown. Uh, when the grenade was thrown, it was towards his back. His squad was kind of surrounded and uh, many of them got injured. Um, they drew back because enemy fire. My father laid there. Um, he says all he can remember is coming in and out of consciousness. The uh, bullets over his face just shooting after it, hearing the sounds, and he just thought he was dead. And um, there's a couple of the guys from his company, um, and then from his squad itself, that actually knew there was something not right, and they engaged the enemy and uh, saved my dad. Um, and he just remembers in and out. Um, when he finally came to, he was on a helicopter, um, and then eventually shipped back to the States. Um, and that's where he, uh, had uh, shrapnel in six parts of his body, uh, broke his right arm, and uh, to this day still has shrapnel in his body, and received the Purple Heart. My father was a very strict man. Um, he was the rank that he wore this entire time. Um, I, I always say that he wasn't uh, the dad that most people would think. He was a soldier soldier. Um, he would build us obstacle courses in the background, um, I say we didn't go camping, we went to the field. We didn't go on hikes, we went on ruck marches. We didn't eat meals, we ate chow. So my whole life, um, that's all I knew. And I always wanted to be an infantryman and, and didn't have that opportunity. Um, hopefully other ladies can have that opportunity now. Now, I, we had a question for you, Dad. Um, why did you join the Army? Uh, because I always wanted to be a soldier since I was a uh, uh, that was my dream, to become a soldier. How does it feel like uh, now having me in the military um, after all that you've done? It was, um, I was very proud to have you join the military. And uh, uh, I, my, you know, I, I, I kind of express how happy I am that you have achieved what I have achieved. What, with your chief, because I, I wanted to be a sergeant major, but due to health reasons, I could not. I'm proud of him in many ways. Um, he stood up for me when I didn't realize that I can do things. Uh, when I joined the military, I thought it was my four years and done, and he did too. Um, told me many times on why I couldn't do things, um, but he did that to prove that I could. Um, the typical mind over matter. You can do whatever you want as long as you put your mind into it. And uh, he would constantly remind me when I wasn't able to do something at the time because I didn't have the knowledge, is to read up on it, ask questions, and make yourself better because the only person that's going to stop you is you. Anything else you want to say, Dad, before uh, I let you go? Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of your achievements. The whole family is very proud of your achievements. And uh, uh, we don't we don't know how to express the the, the gratitude and the uh, 
the, uh, I don't know, the fortitude that we received from you and your accomplishments. But don't forget, Dad, what you did. You paved the way for every one of us service members. And I'm very proud of what I did. And most, the most proud thing that I did is that even though I went to combat with three different combat units, none of my soldiers ever died. Cool. All of them came home. I'm just real proud of you, Dad. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service. I love very you. Proud of you. It's a pride to be part of history. Um, it's a, a joy in my heart to recognize people that have done so much for this country. Um, not only for the soldiers that serve, but also the spouses, that they have an opportunity to see what their soldiers did. Um, the, the young men and women that stayed home with families while their families were, their soldiers were gone. Um, that, that's really difficult. I, I couldn't even imagine that because they were in an age that didn't have cell phones, didn't have the FaceTimes, didn't have the technologies that we have today to be able to contact them. So I definitely want to say thank you to the families, both the service members and the families that are alive with us today, and then to provide them a forum that they're able to come and uh, be part of something so important to this community, and that's to commemorate those that served in the Vietnam War.